So a couple weeks back when we were in town, stopped at a store to pick up a couple different fire starters. This week on Wood Heat Wednesday, we're going to do a shootout between those and figure out which one's the best bang for your buck. So these were just a couple of different fire starters that were available at our local store and the prices. If you purchase these things in bigger bulk, of course the price uh, is definitely going to change. You're going to get more of a discounted price. I even noticed at our store if you bought a quantity of five or more, a lot of times you got a discounted price as well, uh, even if it wasn't in just a big bulk box. So I'm going to try to break these things down price per ounce. Um, and then uh, we're also going to try to figure out what type of burn time we get for burning one ounce of whatever this material is. There were a couple other ones I picked up. There were ones that were in a wrapper. They were basically meant you light that wrapper, which then lights whatever's inside that in a uh, certain fire. I ended up eliminating those because I wanted to have a very consistent um, size. So I was easily able to break everything down in one in ounce increments for this little experiment. But keep in mind, this isn't really justification we might be able to figure out which one's the cheapest per ounce uh, but obviously burn time is going to play a factor in that and then something that's very hard to measure is uh, easy use or convenience in some ways like these strike a match ones or strike a fire I think is what they're called you can just strike them right on the box they're basically like a match and you throw them right in there very very convenient for getting a fire going I also do want to know my personal preferred method of starting fires is actually using newspaper, but I do think these things do definitely have a lot of nice use, especially they help eliminate the process of needing any kindling. A lot of times when you put one of these big chunks in there, uh, you can get everything up and going without having any. The very first one we're going to look at is one by Diamond called Strike a Fire. This one has eight sticks in it, all weighing roughly around one ounce a piece. This package costs $1.89, so these are coming out to about 23 cents per ounce. The next one we're going to look at is one by Pine Mountain, weighing 18.8 .8 ounces, costing $1.99. So this roughly comes out to around 11 cents per ounce. Next one we're going to look at is some fatwood by Northwoods. This package weighed about 1.33 ounce, so four sticks in there, roughly weighing around 0.33 ounces. Uh, we bought this thing for 49 cents, so the total breakdown of this is going to be roughly around 36 cents per ounce. And the final one we're going to look at is one by Duraflame called Quick Start. It's an 18 ounce package, costing $1.89, so roughly around 10 cents per ounce. So now we gotta go out, get these things lit up, and see how they perform. I'm gonna use a propane torch just because there's a lot of heat there. It's very quick and easy to get things up and going. That way we're not gonna have too much of a difference between the very first one we light and the last one we light. I'm also going to give the ones that I think will last the least amount of time, I'll light those ones up last just to give them a little bit better of an advantage here.
So definitely some pretty interesting results. I was really impressed on the burn time, both of the Duraflame as well as the Pine Mountain. We were pushing 45 minutes to 50 minutes on, on both of those. And if you can't get a fire up and going in that amount of time, you definitely have to look at improving the way you're drying your wood. Uh, the fat wood was definitely an eye opener for me, um, especially when you sit there and you stare at the shelf and you see those up there for 49 cents and all these other fire starters are sitting at two bucks. But when you break the price down, uh, it was definitely the most expensive option and it was definitely one of the worst performing ones out there. The nice part about that is, is you know exactly what's going into your wood stove. And I do have to say, this is definitely not the best fat wood I've ever seen out there. I did get some a while back from Deep South Homestead night and day difference between this stuff and um, the stuff that they have down there. There's a lot more of a resin smell. And these ones did have a little bit of resin in the fat wood, but just not just not enough. I, I felt like drying a little bit of uh, poplar uh, really nice and, and dry uh, outperformed these things. I was really disappointed in how the fat wood performed. The strike of fire one, very nice, convenient. And the nice part is it's actually cheaper when you look at the breakdown price per ounce. Than, uh, than some of the um, fat wood here. But I think if I had to make my pick based off of price, I would probably go with the Duraflame. It was just a touch cheaper and it got about a five to 10 minute less burn time out of it. But like I mentioned, that burn time was really long. And if you can't get a fire going that time, there's definitely some things that need to be more focused on. So um, I think if we had to pick some of these, I think it'd be really nice to get some of these the um the striker fire ones for a, like if you had a, a cabin or something you're coming up in the the fall do a little deer hunting or something you want to get a fire up and going it's just like straight striking a match and throwing it in there might be nice to have something like that but as a daily um fire starter uh it could get a little expensive but um i guess it, it really comes down to you you know it's, it's finding that price versus convenience type thing so um, what are your thoughts? Which one would you end up picking? I'd like to do another shootout like this somewhere down the road. I think it would be fun uh, bringing in another batch of a couple different fire stars and see how those do. Um, if I do do that, are there any um, particular brands that you guys like to see included in that shootout? Also, are there any other metrics that you'd like to see? Like I mentioned, we tried to break it down price per ounce and we also tried to break it down, uh, be able to tie some dollar amounts to the actual burn time. Uh, but, you know, it's a little hard to measure some things such as the convenient side of stuff. So, but if there are other metrics, let me know so I can get those included in a future video. So hopefully this is helpful for someone out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.